in three, two, one, go. Action on the field. Blue Alliance comes out, grabs one of the neutral mobile goals. Red Alliance able to do the same. Six seconds remaining in this autonomous period. Robots relying on their coding. Period comes to an end and the advantage will go to red. We begin driver control in three, two, one, go. Drive teams now in full control of their machines. Just like that, juggle knots, miss their juggle, drop their mobile goals, and now they'll have to go back and scramble to pick up all those four pieces. One minute, 25 seconds remaining in the match. Blue Alliance out in front. They are in possession of four of the mobile goals. Red Alliance is on the prowl. Both Red Alliance robots are stalking the Blue Alliance, closing in on them like jackals on the Serengeti. They engage on the near side of the field. Juggernauts have to back away. Blue Alliance robots still standing strong. That's the house cats. Now to the far side of the field, riding along with USSR. Two mobile goals in their possession, one of them stuffed filled with those purple rings. 30 seconds remaining in the match. Teams beginning to think about their in-game strategy. Pause in the action. Blue Alliance, the first to climb aboard their platform. It's balanced. One robot elevated along with one, two, now three mobile pieces. And look at this, Red Alliance. They've got a double climb. There are three mobile goals fully elevated. Two of those goals stuffed with rings. Blue Alliance is a gun. It will all come down to this. Just incredible match play. Amazing. Grant, back to you. I mean, that's World's, that's world's Finals right there. I'm, <laughs> I'm here with Andrew Dolan. He was one of our MCs. Which division were you on, Andrew? I was in the technology division. It was incredible, Grant. Andrew on the technology. That's right. We just saw technology pull out an incredible match there. I mean, what have you seen that division doing, you know, throughout? Oh, man, that division was so tight. We got into the final rounds, and there was so many DQs, and it was, like, heartbreaking to see these teams get to that level. And then just, oh, man. Well, they came to play here in the Dome, uh, for sure. So, speaking of, you know, coming to play, so Andrew, what is your other role, like, outside of Worlds? So, outside of Worlds, I'm a mechatronics instructor for Northland Community Technical College in Minnesota. Oh, nice, nice. Minnesota, fellow Midwest, Midwesterner, right? Eh? Uh, so, and, and you, like, how many events have you been involved with this season? Like This season, I think it was in about uh, 12 events. Wow. Yep, we got a tournament trailer up in Minnesota. All kinds of wonderful people shouting out to those folks in Minnesota. They're amazing. North Dakota, too. Can't forget our neighbors. <laughs> so what have you seen? I mean, so running all these events throughout the season, you know, how have you seen the game evolving? You know, we obviously weren't seeing 250 to 250 matches at the beginning of the season, right? Double parks and seven goals and whatnot. I mean, what's been something that's been exciting to you as the oh, game? Oh, man. I tell you, when those matches are decided by a single ring goal, <laughs> a single, that is incredible. Single ring? Single ring, <laughs> yes. And the high ones, getting them up on those branches. Our team from Freedom, Wisconsin out there, they were able to get some of them up on 60-some points just on those high goals. It was truly astounding to see that happen in matches. You they did it a number of times. You love it. I mean, that's why we call it Vex Worlds. So, Tyler, let's find out if we've got a score. Grant, our scores are in, and that's 238 to 247. The Blue Alliance, the math division advances. All right, so.